I'm gonna make it's called cowboy caviar, I think. Or there's multiple names. I don't know. It's really good though. And it's a dip. It's ooh, so good. So technically you're supposed to have like two Roma, whatever the like small tomatoes are, but I don't have any. So we're just gonna cut up cherry tomatoes instead. I'm just gonna cut up all these. It's not that much, but who really likes tomatoes? So like it's okay. Then I just cut them up into like tiny little pieces. And then we're just gonna throw that in the bowl. Oh my god, I just got tomato everywhere. And then slice up half a red onion. And then just add all the onions into the bowl. I didn't really cut up a lot, but just cut up however much you want. And then you could use like fresh avocado, but we just have like the frozen ones from Costco and I let them defrost them and use like half the bag, but it's like two avocados. And then it's just one can of corn and one can of black beans and then just like rinse them, put them in there. And then just dump it in. And then dump the black beans in and then just mix it all up. And then I just add in a little bit of these seasonings. And then I usually eat it with tortilla chips, so you can like top. Let's make homemade honey butter chips. I use kettle chips so it stays extra crunchy with the sauce. On medium heat, add butter, honey, brown sugar, and salt. Stir the chips around, making sure it gets all the sauce. Add some sesame seeds and enjoy these buttery sweet. If you have a sweet tooth like me and you love apple pie during this holiday season, check this out. This is a faster, healthier version to make it. So what you're gonna do first is chop up a whole apple, add some grass-fed butter into a pan, sizzle that up, add in the apples with some nutmeg and cinnamon for seasoning. Then what you're gonna do is get yourself a high protein, low fat ice cream, add that to the bottom of your cup. I'm gonna show you how to make some sweet potato crescent rolls. Pre-made dough usually doesn't have any dairy in it. If you're into that, for the filling, you'll need a steamed sweet potato. I usually just cook this in the microwave for six minutes. My hand is burning. Next, add a few tablespoons of coconut milk, brown sugar, vanilla, and some cinnamon. Roll out your dough, and then spread the sweet potato on there. And I'm gonna cut these into triangles to make mini crescent rolls. Bake these in a 375 degree oven for 15 minutes. This easy, simple to make avocado egg toast comes in at 318 calories and is a great breakfast option that includes the Fab Four. The Fab Four is a secret tip I share with all of my clients to create healthy, balanced meals. You need to have veggies, carbs, protein, and fat. Veggies keep you vibrant, carbs keep you cheerful, protein keeps you powerful, and fat keeps you full. If you're still hungry after your meal, you wanna make sure that you have the Fab Four in every single dish that you make. Link in bio. Let's make Thanksgiving sweet potato casserole. Buy sweet potatoes or better yet, yams. Bring a big pot of water to boil. Boil them, skin's on. When you could put a knife all the way through, they're done. Let them cool and the skin just falls right off. Way better than regular potatoes. Boom, so easy. Beat them up. Not too long, just like that. Chop a stick of butter. Boom. To the party. Half a cup of brown sugar. Boom. OJ. Pecans. Crush them. Boom. Give it a mix. Like that. Cinnamon. Couple shakes. About a cup of crushed pecan. Boom. Raisins. Handful one. To the party. Handful two. To the party. Like that. Mix it up. Tastes so good already. Get this in here. Now get some of these little mini beauties. Everybody goes to the party. The more the merrier. Take a 350, 30 to 45 minutes. And look at that. Look at that. A lot of people don't know, but I've actually been cooking since I was eight years old. Like, full family dinners I'm talking about. This is one of my favorite desserts that I learned how to make when I was a teenager. Bananas Foster. It's super easy and delicious. You can eat it over ice cream, waffles, or crepes. Oh yeah, I forgot about crepes. If you guys want, I can do those in the video too. On medium-high heat, you're just going to melt one stick of butter first. Be careful, you don't want to burn it. Once it looks like this, you're going to add one cup of brown sugar. And I normally just eyeball my cinnamon, but I think it's about two, three tablespoons. Now you wanna constantly stir it until it gets the right consistency. Not that. You want it to be nice and smooth and not chunky. To test it, just do this. And that's perfect, so now I'm gonna add the bananas. Turn the heat off, stir the bananas, then you're gonna add some brandy. We're gonna flambe this to burn off all the alcohol, so be careful. Once all the alcohol dissipates, the fire will go out on its own. I'm happy I remembered to share this with you guys. Put it over. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own cream cheese using just two ingredients. We start by heating up the milk and as soon as it starts boiling we add the lemon juice and we mix it up and then it's going to start curdling. As soon as it curdles we separate the whey from the curd and we rinse the curd using cold water and we squeeze out the liquid, we add salt and we process. And that's it. 
This is how you make real hot chocolate bombs. Finely, finely chop some high quality chocolate, microwave for 30 seconds, stir, 15 seconds, stir, never let it go above 90 degrees. Now it's tempered. We're gonna warm up our acrylic sphere mold just a little bit, pour in our tempered chocolate, smooth it out, then we're going to tap out the excess as much as you can. Scrape off all of the extra chocolate and put it on some parchment paper and just until it's set, then scrape off the excess again. Into the freezer, let it set for five minutes, and then boom, look at those beautiful shiny spheres. Now we're gonna fill it up with some hot cocoa mix, some mini marshmallows, some big marshmallows, and then we're gonna pipe some more tempered chocolate around that top edge. Go ahead and press that top piece on, use gloves so you don't leave fingerprints, and then we're just going to finish it off with a little bit of sprinkles. Pour on some steaming hot milk, and oh my gosh, you have the most delicious hot chocolate bomb That's treat cool. ever. Full recipe. Happy Sunday, y'all. We've got blackberry cobbler overnight oats this week. This does not have any peanuts as requested. Um, you're going to start with your half a cup of rolled oats, and you're going to fill a container with one cup of blackberries. They need to be fresh, not frozen. You're going to mix it with one tablespoon of maple syrup, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg, and kind of mash that around with a fork to make kind of like a berry compote. And I evenly divided it into each container. Then you're going to do half a cup of your choice of milk, and I do almond, just preference. Pour those into each container. As you can see, I forgot a little bit in the last one. <laughs> I did one tablespoon of two good vanilla yogurt. This is honestly the best, creamiest Greek yogurt ever. I love it. Um, mix that around, snap the lids on, and refrigerate, and you're good to go. I eat these cold because that is the point of overnight oats, just to grab and go and take them to work or wherever. Easy appetizer. Line a sheet pan with parchment paper. Take one pack of prosciutto and line each piece individually on the pan. Take it 400 degrees for about 10 minutes until crispy. The end result is this crispy, salty, delicious, satisfying. I cooked this pork belly for 24 hours. At this point, I would just start putting rubber bands around your socks. Now let's go! A couple slabs of pork belly. Just a touch of olive oil. Rosemary salt, if you know, you know. Get that everywhere. Sergeant Gilbert reporting for duty. Finally ground. Go ahead and vac pack it up. And we're going to cook at 165 for 24 hours. See you tomorrow, guys. And it's tomorrow. I mean, today. Wait, what? I'm just gonna chill these down so they're easy to slice. Now we'll make some nice, thick slices. Medium, low pan, drop the pork. Render that fat on all sides for 15 minutes. Delicata squash puree. 24 hour pork belly. Pan fried delicata squash. Reduced braising liquid from the sous vide bag. That's been cut with butter. Drop that on the pork and around. Salsa verde. And finally, some crispy shallots. Well, that looks nice. <laughs> What? Ugh! So hard not to cuss right now. That pork disappears in your mouth like cotton candy. Well, my friends, yeah! These magic cookie bars are absolute perfection. They are so, so good. You're gonna start with one stick or one half cup of unsalted butter and melt it in a saucepan. Turn off the heat and add one and a half cups of cornflake crumbs or graham cracker crumbs and three tablespoons of sugar. Then mix that all together. And once it looks like this, you're gonna press it into a nine by 13 pan. You're then gonna spread it evenly and add one cup to one half cups of mini semi-sweet chocolate chips and spread that evenly. Then you're gonna add one and a half cups of sweetened coconut, you can use a glove, and then one and a half cups of diced walnuts, spread that evenly. Lastly, you're gonna cover all of this with a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. You want everything to be covered, make sure you get the corners. You don't have to use the whole can, but you want everything to be covered. Then bake at 350 degrees for 25 minutes until the top is golden and cut once it cools down a bit. These are Asian slaw in less than 60 seconds, let's do it. Go sharpen up our knife because we need it. All right, let's get to it. No blinking. There you go, now we're going to put this in here. Mix up our vinegar and sugar. Now, wait a minute, Lauren. Okay, now looks good. Put it into our jar. Mix this up. Two parts sugar, one part Asian, um, one part rice vinegar, and pour it in. Leave this for an hour and it's ready to enjoy. This is very good. It's so delicious. 
close it up and here's it's episode three of veganizing celebrity recipes with Courtney Kardashian's avocado pudding. Courtney says she eats this pudding every morning before a workout. Original recipe has whole milk and honey, so we veganized it with almond milk and maple syrup instead. It's sweet and creamy, but definitely still has an avocado flavor. Fried shrimp. Two pounds golf shrimp. Two tablespoons of hot sauce and two tablespoons of mustard. Add this mustard and hot sauce mixture. Move this to the fridge, get your oil heated, gradually get to about 425 degrees. Two cups of plain white flour. Add two tablespoons of Cajun or Creole seasoning, one half tablespoon of salt, and one half tablespoon of garlic powder. Seasoned flour. Pulled my shrimp from the fridge. I have two scrambled eggs. There we go. Just gonna drop a few in there, and then we will shake it around. Shake it up. You flip it over, boom, shake it up, and all the shrimp are battered. We are going to cook this for two minutes. Cacio e pepe. Let's make it. The dish traditionally uses Pecorino Romano, but unfortunately my market was out, so I just got some really nice Parmesan. You're also gonna need fresh cracked pepper and then some pasta. My favorite is bucatini, which is like a thick spaghetti with some holes down the center. When a dish requires such minimal ingredients, please, please, please do not skimp on the cheese. I'm just gonna grate that up and place it in a bowl big enough to do some mixing in. Now on medium heat, I'm coarsely cracking some pepper to cover the entirety of the bottom of this pan. We're just gonna toast this until it's fragrant and we're gonna add some of that starchy pasta water and let that reduce. Now we're adding some of the pasta water to the cheese and we're gonna mix that up until it forms a paste. Make sure you don't cook your pasta all the way, you want it to finish cooking in the pan. So we're going to toss that around and then add in our cheese mixture. And stir to combine until it's nice and creamy just like this. Pasta water helps create a creamy sauce for this without using any cream at all. Now just plate it up, top it with some more cheese and- <laughs> 